We're sitting in a kitchen, in a house, talking about full-time RV life. What is wrong with this picture? Today's topic is going to be, why are RV YouTubers always so damn miserable? Stick around. Hello everyone and welcome back to Life Redesigned. I am Bob. I'm Carrie. And in 2022, Carrie and I sold everything that we owned and we hit the road full-time in our RV and we don't make videos in the kitchen pretending that we live a full-time life. We actually do it. Oh, and for those of you wondering, we are actually not in our kitchen. We are in an Airbnb because we are here on vacation spending time with our children who are getting ready to move and redesign their own lives by joining us here in South Carolina. Uh, and uh, that's happening as we speak. Shh. They're sleeping upstairs because they have a flight to catch at three in the morning. So yep. we're making a couple of videos because, well, we're behind. <laughs> and uh, one of the subjects that came up while we were showing our kids our YouTube fame was uh, all the RV channels that are on YouTube because they kept wondering why we keep getting comments saying thank you for being a breath of fresh air in the genre because you guys are talking about things that nobody else talks about. And then we we're like, hmm, how bad is it in the RV segment? So we typed in RV life and RV living and RV full time and everything else that we could into the YouTube search engine. And oh my God, the things that we've seen and now we understand the frustration and why everybody thinks that everybody's quitting and everything else because wow, it is a mess out there. Just in, in just the time that we were able to uh, search these things out, we've seen some of these mega channels and we're only gonna focus on mega channels for this thing anybody with 50,000 and above to us as mega channels uh, and everything that we've seen from the same thumbnails with that same pose give it care Aww. what's the pose of just I wish I knew mm. and everything's broken and everything's sad and oh everybody's gonna we quit. lost it all now, Carrie and I like to make fun of these and you'll see them in our <laughs> thumbnails as well because well that's just our little nudge back at the community that we are not part of uh, that says, hey, you guys are just becoming a little too over the top. Again, there's no script here. It's just two people having a little conversation with you. And the first thing that you're probably going to wonder is, well, Bob, what do you care what everybody else does on the YouTube segment? Who cares, right? It's just, you know, they're just making videos. Well, I'll answer that with this. If you see an injustice on the road, you see a little old lady Gertrude walking down the street with her walker, and you see some kid run out and punch her in the face. Oh, that's a little rough. Yeah, or just take her purse. Or just tell her that she can't play with the kids across the street. Are you just gonna let that happen and say nothing? And if you are that person that's just gonna walk by and let Gertrude get smacked around, then our channel's probably not for you. If you are someone that's gonna say, hey, you leave Gertrude to Rome, then you stay right with us here. And that's what we're seeing. If, in fact, if you were to go tell your neighbor, if you're living in a six and bricks or you're about to embark on a full-time RV journey and you tell your neighbor that you are gonna sell everything and hit the road full-time, you're gonna be told. You're crazy. And the reason that they say that you're crazy is because. Everything sucks. And everything sucks because. Everything's built like crap. And that's what the YouTube population, and we're gonna say, for the sake of this video, it's not all YouTubers, but we know that. But uh, unfortunately, we're all grouped together, so what they do affects the top, affects the bottom. And uh, so, eh, you are what the majority is, right? Um, by them making all these videos, and we see this time and time again, uh, that you know everything breaks, everything made of garbage, everything whatever, it sets a message for the general population that says that that's what this is. Because at the end of the day, and I'm gonna, this is something I'll catch a lot of crap for. You as a subscriber is not what most YouTubers make videos for. They don't make videos for their current audience. They make videos for the other people that haven't subscribed. Anybody that's been doing YouTube long enough gets that analytic section that tells you how many percentages of people are subscribed versus not subscribed. And they all try to make that number grow. And if you just make videos every day that says, look, we're having fun in our kitchen, people aren't gonna click. But if you make a video that says your RV is garbage, well, right now you can be amazing and you can have 100 plus thousand people watching. You talk about every RV manufacturer being garbage. But the reality is, and it is actually the people that are experiencing problems with their RV is less than 1%. 
We'll bring up the case of frame failure, the F word that is very popular right now. And a lot of that you're finding out that first they went after Lippert, then they went after Grand Design, and now they're doing all this back and forth. And really what's, the reality is it's affecting less than 1% of the population that have these. And yes, that's too many. However, the, all these other people are jumping on board because, well, they're inexperienced. Okay, so when you go out in an RV and you take a recreational vehicle and you live in it full time and you expect it to perform at peak levels constantly and you're overloading it, which we see an awful lot of, the people are just overloaded their RVs and we're talking about brand ambassadors yeah. that do this, we're talking about common <coughs> RVers, we're talking about YouTubers especially uh, that just have too much crap and they've exceeded the capacity of their rigs. They're, they're doing all these things that you probably shouldn't be doing, and you're putting through a lifetime worth of a normal wear and tear in an RV, and you're doing that inside of like three months. And the more you travel, the more damage you're doing as you go down the road. So the blame game begins because it's popular and it makes clicks. So much so that you're seeing a lot of channels flip the script, and they've gone from positivity and happiness in community to basically shitting on every manufacturer that comes along because that's what the general population has been convinced they want to see because, well, that's true. That If you make a happy video, nobody's clicking on it. And the other way you're going to grow your video channel on YouTube is to get to that broader audience and the only ones that they're watching is the bad stuff. So, yes, we do care wow. about that because we promote a positive RV living. We don't have all these breakdowns. We don't have all these catastrophes. We don't have all this nonsense that happens. And let me tell you, if it's going to happen to anybody, it's going to happen to us because we're not freaking amazing people here. We're just average people. And everything that we buy on a routine basis is crap. That's just the way it is. Did we just get lucky with our RV purchases? All of them? No. Yeah. And so we knew what our expectations should be going in. Just like the problem with YouTube is when you get asked a question as a YouTuber, um, the first thing you always get asked is advice on what rig to buy, what thing, and they'll just spew off whatever they want because they believe, truly believe that they're experts in this genre. And the reality is they're just people like us. In fact, you ask us a question, what brand to buy? The first thing we tell you is what you can afford. And yeah. two, we don't give advice on what brand to buy because we don't have experiences with every brand. I would never do that anyway. And we don't believe in telling you <laughs> that you need to have anything. You should be doing your own research because everybody is different. Everybody's situation is different. Everything just, well, it is different. That is the way it is. There's no scripts here. Did I mention that? But this is something we wanted to get off our chest because, we, again, we're seeing this happen more and more. And you're going to see this going into the summer because this is the time of year that the clicks start going down because the general population is out camping, which they should be having a blast. So they're going to come through with all their top 10 lists of things you don't need, the things that they wish they never bought, the things that they should buy. They're going to talk about the, how the RV fell off the blocks. They're going to hit you with all kinds of stuff. They're going to hit you with the stuff that makes your poop not smell when all you need is water. And uh, all that good stuff uh, along the way. And get me wrong. There's a time and a place for everything. We've had, like, we made a joke about the, the poop chemicals. We know of a couple of companies that their products work really well, and maybe one day we'll show them. Uh, but the reality is um, they're not things that you need, and we all make those videos. It's that black tank syndrome. It's these not circles of trust, these collaboration groups, where they all make the same video at the same time because they want to push out a certain message. Look, it, at the end of the day, if your YouTuber has all this drama every week in and week out, it's time for you as a subscriber to change the channel because until you do that, you're going to get more of that nonsense over and over. And as much as you all say you like our channel and our presentation <laughs> of RV life, we are just a little nugget in the big poop field of black tanks in the RV segment. Look, they all at the end of the day have a narrative that they like to push, and that is you need to trust them, you need to buy from them, you need to be part of their journey, their communities, their partnerships, their squads, their crews, you get, name it, they've got a word for you, but at the end of the day, you're what they want to call you is followers, and they do on certain platforms, yeah. because that is what drives them to make more videos. 
because it's all about this. Remember, and, and don't get me wrong, we're no better than anybody else. We make videos for views, absolutely. Um, but our moral values are kind of a little high and we don't put that in the back burner for anybody. And yes, I don't care if you have a $650,000 rig and you get offended because I unsubscribe from your channel because I don't like your message. That's on you, not me. That's just the world we live in nowadays. And again, consume your YouTube content in small digestible bites. And if you want the truth in RV living, and you want truth on YouTube, we highly recommend you check out channels that we have promoted out on this channel because, well, at the time of us making those videos, we believe that they are honest and, well, the best presentation they can be for this YouTube segment. It's a shame, really, what YouTube is becoming. And, uh, yeah, it's sad. When you really want to show your kids what you're part of, and you have to show them that, and it's like, wow. <laughs> Especially when your kids go, Dad, you really have to worry about your poop all the time? No, we don't. No, we don't. You really have water leaks all the time? No. Nope. No, we don't. We've had one, and it was fixed inside of 24 hours. Yes, things happen. Life is, you know, whatever. Take away anything from our videos is that you can do this if you want to do this. It's all about drive, all about desire, and if you do your own research, you're good to go. And I do want to say yeah. a special congratulations to Jonathan, who is a part of our channel for a long time here. I'm going full time at his new Class C or new to him Class C. We appreciate you, Jonathan. We're happy that we've been there for you and we're waiting for you to share with us what you've got going on. Absolutely. And that is no joke and that is no skin on your soup <laughs> if you know you know. So hopefully you got our little bit of a take. We may edit this video, we may not. We may put this up, we may not. You will. Let's see what happens. If you have something you've noticed in the world of YouTube that seems to be a little askew or maybe something that we should be talking about because apparently we are those YouTubers that love to talk about things that nobody else will, <laughs> leave it in the comment section below because Carrie likes to answer each and every one of your comments. There's no call center. There's no team of people doing it for us. It's just her and I, the way it's been for almost 30 years now. Yes. That's right. So while you enjoy the rest of your day, I'm going to go woof down a sandwich with actual bread. And then I'm going to cry about it tomorrow. Eat again. Probably. <laughs> we'll catch you. That's next, it. Next time. Bye. <laughs>